the need to adapt our child protection policies to effectively tackle the realities of the 21st century is undeniable. In particular, the possibility to introduce technical blocking mechanisms to prevent individuals from gaining access to online sexually exploitative content depicting a child is a welcome development. It has been said of this policy that it is unproven and that it potentially undermines freedom of information and communication on the Internet. Colleagues, in law and in reality, there is no such thing as an absolute right or freedom, but instead each freedom is qualified and must be balanced against opposing freedoms. The right to freely communicate does not preclude the need to protect the fundamental rights of children and minors. Secondly, I support this proposal's aim to legislate for victims' rights. This proposal puts victims' rights on a statutory footing and in general encompasses the provision of adequate support to victims before, during and after a criminal investigation. Thank you, Madam. Oh. I know it's difficult, but some of you are speaking quite fast for the interpreters this afternoon. Um, Next, Mr. Kelly.